Why aren't the Democrats excited about Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris and Joe Biden on the ticket for 2024. Wow! It was recently brought up on The View. Democratic <laughs> leaders are reportedly frustrated over the lack of support for Vice President Kamala Harris. Whoopi. They're not even talking about voters. They're talking about other politicians don't want to support a stinky VP. Now, it's apparently led to a rift between the VP and Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, after she responded to some question about endorsing Biden and Harris ticket in 2024. Here's what she said. Clear. Should Kamala Harris be the, his choice the second time around? You know, I, I really want to defer to what makes Biden comfortable on his team. I've known Kamala for a long time. I like Kamala. I knew her back when she was when she was an attorney general and I was still uh, uh, teaching and we worked on the housing crisis. Don't you just love Elizabeth Warren and her fake Midwestern folksiness? When I was riding on that horse and I wanted to point out that Kamala Harris sucks. She can't just say it. You know she wants to say it. That Kamala Harris is just not a great candidate. Together. So we go way back, but they need, they have to be a team. And my sense is they are. I don't mean that by suggesting I think there are any problems. I think they are. Can it be possible Kamala Harris is just not the best candidate? Of course it can be possible. But Elizabeth Warren, I have no backbone. I won't say a thing. You can't make me have a backbone. I won't have one. I will not put forward a backbone at all. It's not what I do. Gee whiz, golly gee, jump in Jehoshaphat. Then Sunny Halston came in and she started defending Kamala, as usual. Accomplishments that she's made as vice I'm, president. I'm surprised that there's concern. I think it has a lot to do with that she's a black woman. Black women get everything done. We've saved this country's democracy for She's obviously for amazing. Sunny Hostin is America's biggest Kamala Harris butt kisser in America. If they would give it out plaques for butt kissing of Kamala, it would go to Sunny Hostin. She's doing the same thing in 2020. Here's Sunny in 2020 when Kamala Harris had to drop out of the race. Sunny was doing her best. Kamala Harris is just great. Bit. But I don't think that you can look at that. Uh, without also looking at the fact that as a woman of color, um, she also faced unprecedented sexism compounded by racism as well as, as a, a female candidate of color. I'm so sad to hear about how Kamala is so woman of color-ish. She is the first female woman of color as vice president. And yes, she has a tougher role. But she's also unlikable. She's never been liked a lot. She's never been favorite. Black women wanted her because she would be the first black woman if she was a senator. But they did not like her. Black women like Angela Bassett. They do not like Kamala Harris. And they compare her to Mike Pence. It's just horrible. Nobody likes Mike Pence. I don't even think Mike Pence likes Mike Pence. But being Kamala Harris and being vice president and having so much push behind you, so much support behind you, the first black woman, you want her to do well, but she doesn't. And one of my biggest problems with the people on the left, the progressives, was they always say when you bring up race, you're playing identity politics. Now, sometimes you're just paying attention. They don't want to admit that there is racism in America until it's time to collect checks. Or it's time to go viral. They don't want you calling a cat a cat. Racism is like seeing a cat and going, hey, look at the cat. And they're going, oh, there you go with your identity of cat, identity uh, politics with your seeing cats everywhere. No, that's a cat. It's not a dog. I know what dogs look like. I know what squirrels look like. I know what a horsey is. And that's a cat. But they don't want to see it. Because the cat may get power. They don't want the cat to have power. So yes, Kamala Harris, she's, she's, she's black looking. And she's a woman, gener generally speaking. And she's dealing with those things. And there are some people, if you don't think that there are sexism, there are people that think that women can't lead, they can't lead the highest post in the land, then you are a moron because you don't know what time it is. Of course, there are, there are people that don't think women should be leaders. There are, there are men that think that, and there are women that think that. 
And there are people that think that black people should not be in charge. And yes, there are women that think that and white people that think that. And there are some black people that kind of think that. Back to Kamala Harris. She is a disappointment on so many levels. And I feel so great to be independent where I can say it. You blow. But you're not new. Dan Quayle blew. Mike Pence blows. Being a great politician is a rare thing. Having the it is a rare thing. People got so seduced by Obama. Give it up for Trump as well. The guy was able to get votes. He used what he got to get what he won't. Not everybody's good like that. Bill Clinton, sayer of words. Bush, able to shut up and realize he's out of his depth. But after saying all these things, all the negative criticism you can lay at the feet of Kamala Harris, you gotta admit, it's harder when you're black, it's harder when you're a woman, and that's just how it is. But the Democrats, they're, they're so quick to admit it, it seems phony. They're like Sonny Hostin, where they don't want to admit the other problems that Kamala had. The other obstacles weren't just race, but her own self. Herself. But everybody can't be perfect like Obama. Perfect actor. Because our system blows. You get two choices. And both are bad. So the answer to your question, the view ladies, Whoopi, Sunny, Joy, white lady and white lady, are pretty simple. Yes, Kamala's not so respected because she's black. And it's because she's a woman. And it's because she's just not that good. It's everything, everywhere, all at once.